Hello, in this session we will talk about cross joints and inner joints. This is Hassan Mir from Zero2ProTraining.com. First of all, what is a joint? A joint is a method of retrieving information from more than one tables. Why would you retrieve information from more than one tables? We will talk about that in a bit with help of some examples. There are various types of joints available. We'll talk about cross join, inner join, and outer join. So let's dive into the waters and let's take a look at a join. I'm connected to SAP HANA Studio. Let's take a look at the data we have in student tables. Right click on the table and select open content. So each record in this table is representing one instance of the entity student. Hassan is one student, Bill is another student, and so on. And if I right-click on Team Table and view the data by clicking on Open Content option, we have one record here, and this record is also representing one instance of the entity Team. So Team 1 is one team. So if I like to view Teams data, I can do a select on Team table. And if I like to view data for students, I can do a select on a student table. What is a scenario where I would like to do a join of the two tables? Here is one scenario. Let's say my requirement is that I like to view the names of all the students and also the names of the teams they belong to name of the students are there in the student table F name is the first name and L name is the last name but the name of the teams are there in the team table so we need information from both the tables let me open an SQL editor right click on tables node and choose SQL editor okay so what do I want? I want to view the first name of the students along with the team names. Select F name, comma, name. F name is the first name of the student, name is the name of the team. From which table? From both the tables. The student, comma, team. Okay, so let's run this SQL and see what happens. Okay, so I get first name and team names. This is what I wanted, but this is misleading. Although you get the right result, but this is not how you would write an SQL statement to retrieve this kind of information. So let me tell you why this is misleading and then I will explain you the right way of doing things. Let's go into the teams table and insert a new record. So right click on team, generate and insert. Insert into schema.team values. 002 is the ID for team 2 and team 2 is the name for team 2. Okay, so now we have another team. Execute this statement and we can see it is successfully executed. Okay, so now let me go back to the SQL editor and run the same command. Select F name, comma name from student, comma team. I this is exactly what I ran last time. See what happens. Now I'm getting strange results. Each name is repeated twice with both the team names. So Hassan is repeated with team 1 and team 2 and so does the bill and so on. So let me close the extra windows. Okay, so if you look at this SQL, we are saying select this column and that column from table 1 and table 2, table 1 comma table 2. This results into a cross join or Cartesian product. This is simply a multiplication of the two tables. So each record in table 1 will appear with each record of table 2. And that is what we are seeing in the result here. Hassan is appearing twice. If I 
add a third team then Hassan will appear three times okay so what you have learned is if you put more than one tables in the from clause then system will give you a cross join or Cartesian product which is nothing but a multiplication of tables and in most cases this is not a useful information I do not want to see each student repeated with each team I wanted to have some meaningful inf information I wanted to see the name of the teams to which a student belongs so when you are retrieving information from more than one tables in this case a student and team there has to be some common ground between the two tables there has to be some link between the two tables so if you look at the structure of student right click and open content so it has one two three four five columns look at the last column team ID this is indicating which team the person belongs to but we don't have team name here we are simply storing IDs here and the full details of the team would be visible in team tables if I right click on team open content currently we are only storing name but in future we may have address or headquarter address or maybe the the name of the person who is uh, in charge of the team and whatnot. okay there could be more than one attribute as well for the team so the common link between student and team is the ID of the team the column names do not have to be the same for example in team the ID is called ID while in a student table the ID for the team is called team ID here the ID column is not teams ID that is students ID so we are interested in teams ID okay so you can convert a cross join into a meaningful information by adding a where clause okay so let me go back to my SQL window here we go okay so if I add a where clause where team ID equal to ID now this team ID is the team ID column in a student table and from this ID I mean to say the ID column in team table but we will have an issue because this column appears in both the tables and system will like to find out which ID am I talking about ID of a student table of or ID of team table because system has no idea which ID column I mean to mention here okay so if I run this statement I should get something about ambiguity okay and this red means I got the error and I can go here to view the message there are a few ways of telling the system which ID column we want to mention here I'm gonna use a simpler method for now I don't want to introduce too much complexity in the situation so you just put the table name in front of the column name this will tell the system okay so we are talking about the ID column in the team table so I'm only doing that for those columns which are ambiguous which exist in both the tables that we are selecting I don't have to put student dot team underscore ID here but if I put the table name everywhere in all the columns then that is fine as well but we will not uh, we will be getting the error message if we do not put the table name in front of the columns that are ambiguous so let's run this statement okay so now a statement is run successfully and let's take a look at the results okay so now we are getting meaningful information the name of the students and the team they belong to in our case all students belong to the same team team one so we are getting team one all the way but I like to see if this query will still work if some students belong to team two so why not do that okay so let's open a new SQL editor right click on tables and select SQL editor and here we go update student set team ID equal to 002 where 
a student we don't have student ID we have ID column indicating student IDs we have ID equal to 003 so now one student belongs to team 2 run this okay so let's go back to the previous SQL that editor is still opened go back to this SQL tab and rerun this statement okay sorry I just selected the last two lines so it's only gonna run whatever you select so do not select anything if you want to run the whole thing so run the statement are we getting the right results yes we are because we changed the team for Larry to team 2 and system is displaying team 1 for everybody except for Larry so these are the right results now let's go back and analyze what we did let's take a look at the SQL so by adding the where clause we converted the cross join into something meaningful and now it is called inner join so inner join is a join where you have a connection specified here we have specified the connection join table student and table team and only display us those records from the Cartesian product or cross join where the team ID in the student table is equal to the ID in the team table so let's put star in the select column list and let's remove the where clause so now we're gonna get a cross join and all the columns will be displayed from both the tables run the statement and now you can see what where clause will do this is a cross join and when you add a where clause it will convert this cross join into something meaningful okay so if we add a where clause where team ID equal to the ID of the team table so the first five columns belong to student table ID first name last name date joint and team ID and the last two columns belong to the team table the on only meaningful information that you can see in this cross join is where the values in team ID and ID columns are matching and everything else is a noise so this record one is meaningful name is Hassan and he belongs to team one and record two is a noise because Hassan doesn't belong to team two but since this is a Cartesian product cross join everything is displayed each row is displayed with each row in the other table okay so this is what happens when you add a where clause and you specify the right link then the same Cartesian product is first produced by the system but only filtered rows are displayed to you that fulfills this where clause criteria in our case the criteria is a student dot team ID this is not, uh, not required but I'm still putting it so the team ID column of student table is equal to the ID column of the team table so if I run this now you see meaningful information okay so only those records are displayed that are giving you something meaningful and I can go back to my SQL tab and only put the name of the columns that I want to see okay so this is how you can imagine that system is working when you whenever you do a join first multiplication happens and then only filtered rows are selected for you and then only those columns are selected for you that you have put on the column list